Hello, hello, welcome on back to another episode of Survival. Hopefully, the game didn't crash on me. There we go. No, it didn't. So, yeah, welcome on back uh, to another episode. I am back from my trip. I've mentioned this already in a couple of other series. I'm kind of annoyed repeating myself, but uh, yeah, if you want to see some of the things I did, uh, Discord link down below in the video description if you want to join that and see uh, images and whatnot in the uh, images channel. Uh, hard mess. Uh, but yeah. We, uh, we, we have some stuff to work on down here. Uh, I have some fiber plants growing, but, uh, I mean, there's still a lot of spots where plots need to go and stuff like that. And we, is all these lights on? Okay, yeah, it's just getting drawn out by the light. I'm just saying. Uh, so yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get these fiber plants going, but, uh, there's not much I can do about it. They just gotta wait for them, right? But as soon as I get some of those plants going, I'll be able to make more uh, fiber plant sprouts, which will allow us to get more fiber plants to get more fiber plant sprouts until we have, oh, I don't know, two rows or so, possibly, maybe three, who knows, well, it's actually one thing I want to do this episode, is uh, calculate how many different types of plants there are. Uh, and the number of spots we have, and then, you know, do a bit of math, and divide it, and figure out how many slots per plant that I will have in this particular base before we head off into the wild blue yonder that were dark black yonder? I don't know, space? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, we have, uh, let's see, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 13, right? Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Nope, 12. 13, 14. 14 plants. Uh, do, do, do I have... Do I, no, I don't have access oops, to chat. Uh, so 14 plants. And we have a total area of uh, whatever this bit is, which is a uh, uh, 6 by 6 I think so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, 6 times 6 is 36. So we got 36 slots there. Then this is a uh, 9 times 9, which is 81. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, I'll look at my head. That's 127 particular plots, and there are how many planes? Two, wait, 5, 10, 14. Which means that we have a 9.07 per one. Uh, which, honestly, it's actually a lot more than I thought. A lot more than I thought it was going to happen with the. Uh, or plots so this is six so then we have another three so we have like one and a half row per plant type over here oh hey speaking of this apparently grew right in my face uh can we make these we can how many take it takes four per one and we got okay so we actually can make another four then uh cool uh, so yeah, we got uh, most of the plot done here, and we're going to go ahead and pick up those two, and those two. That way we can just have a full row of them uh, right off the bat without having to worry about it, and uh, I will temporarily put these concrete blocks in this gap here so I don't accidentally have to fall down and jump and do some weird stuff. And right, we actually get two per craft. I forgot about that. So, let's see, we need to go there, which means I need one more plant, one more fiber plant sprout, which means I'm only going to need an extra two. Uh, I did say 9.07, right? So, I, that means there's going to be an extra spot probably somewhere. Uh, let's see, if I subtract nine from that and times it by, what was it, 127? Uh, that means I'm going to have a... a, a um, <laughs> Window mode for a game sometimes sucks. Uh, <laughs> that means I'm going to have an extra nine slots left over, it seems like, which I guess is very. No, that doesn't seem right. Wait, no, no, that does, because, uh. Yeah, if I do 127 uh, mod 14 or uh, modular division, uh, which I have to do on a different spot on calculator. Uh, no, I get one left over. So I should... I should only have one slot left over. Why was my math wrong on that then? How did I get nine? I don't know. 
Uh, but we'll uh, do an extra one plant of uh, the fiber plants because, I mean, we, we are going to need quite a few of them just to uh, get us going on all this anyway. So, yeah, there we go. That is done. We'll go ahead and put down these concrete blocks down again because I don't want to jump. And these are going to get replaced anyway, so I'm not going to bother recoloring them even though I have the tools on me as it is. <clears throat> but yeah, good old sprout stages. Oh, wow, these actually do revert back to sprouts when you uh, harvest them. Interesting. Some of the other plants uh, just go back to like the, the growing phase, like tomatoes, I believe, and uh, corn do. But apparently the uh, fiber plants actually go all the way back down to default, and I'm going to go ahead and cancel those bullets for the moment. Uh, so the other thing I want to do, it's all vessel, hover vessel. Uh, is this for the base? It is. Uh, I want to craft up some of these uh, sensor and signal blocks. Uh, how many do we get? Just just one? One of the, the block groups per craft? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and craft up uh, 15 of those eventually. And turn that off. Where are those? Start crafting these. Because I want to deal with these lights. Uh, like, these lights in here I probably don't need on all the time, right? Uh, especially if it's daytime out. And one way I could actually do that is with these sensor and signal blocks, right? I think. Is there a day like a daylight sensor? Light barrier. Light barrier? I don't know what a light barrier does. Uh, let's see. Devices. Light barrier. Interactive setup. Light barrier. Okay. Uh, I can't get it to actually do anything, probably because I have something called mouse keys enabled. Which I should probably turn off for the purposes of this because it's probably interfering. Alright, let's try this again. Yep. Uh, left control plus numpad 5. A shrink left control plus left alt plus numpad 5. Who the fuck designed that? Okay. So I can go really far down and whatnot with that. Uh, it doesn't seem like 4, 6, 8, and 2 really do anything here. I don't know. I don't know what the whole light barrier does. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, this doesn't tell me a damn thing at all. Uh, well, regardless, we can still have a lever on. Somewhere around in here, I would imagine. Uh, <laughs> right on the doorway. Why am I allowed to place it on the doorway? I don't know why I'm allowed to place it on the doorway. Put the, 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 the lever here. And we'll name this lever. So I have no idea what the damn thing's for. Uh, we'll name this lever, uh, Lights. And we don't need a circuit added to that. We need a circuit added to all of the damn lights in the light group. Uh, which I don't know. Uh, da, da, da. wait. I don't need the circuit. I need, uh, lights that I need to follow that and possibly invert it. I think that one's actually for down in the basement. Isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think it is. Bad thing about uh, not naming things, you don't know what the hell they're called. Okay, so like that one is light, so that one needs to toggle or follow, I guess, and we can... Could have it like that. Off, on. Green is on, red is off. Uh, same with this one. Okay, so if I flick this, all lights in here should turn off. Yep, awesome. 
Okay, uh, this light here can also get turned off on that. Using P, by the way, to actually select the uh, lights themselves. Uh, the reason I want to do this uh, is because I, I've complained about this in the past, about some FPS issues uh, with lights in this game. And one way I can actually reduce some of that is by turning off uh, certain lights to uh, minimize FPS impact. Like, I would like to maintain a 30 FPS if possible. Uh, what may or may not be n possible, I guess, to some extent, without doing a lot of weird stuff. Uh, like, these here, I probably only need maybe two of them on, really, at any given time. I, I think four is probably a bit overkill. Uh, same with these. Yeah, if I have that one in the center off, uh, I don't need really that one on either. Um, let's see, what if I had this one off as well? Based on the switch. Like, do I still have enough light over here? Right, right, like around here to be able to see what's going on without really having to worry about it. Feels like it. I might leave this one actually on. Just permanently on. Just permanently on. There we go. This one I don't need necessarily on. I mean, it does help being able to see down the shaft, but honestly, I don't. It's not required. By any means. Uh, let's see. These lights here I probably also don't need on, but uh, I think I'll leave them. I, and I'm looking at my FPS uh, from DX Story, and I, I'm staying at a rough 30 at the moment, which isn't bad, but I think I need to actually turn that one on. And I'm going to disable the signal logic on that one, that way we at least have one light in here uh, if needed, but then we can also just have them all on if we wanted. Like maybe when I'm not recording or something, I can have them all on. Uh, it's a bit of an unfortunate side effect of having that many. Oops, did not mean to put them back in here. I meant to put them in my bar. So I'm not sure what the hell this damn light breaker does, though. Okay, well, I have it. Uh, what if I put the light breaker here? Okay. I have no idea. Uh, light barrier is what I'm going to name that. And I think I'll, uh, actually hook it up to that. I'm gonna follow it? I don't know, if you, any, if you have any idea what the hell the library does, let me know down below in the comments, because I, I, I'm confused about this thing. And considering there's a lack of information in-game about it, I don't feel like I really should be messing with it too much. Um, hmm. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention, I have a pulse rifle, uh, T2. Ended up spending the two power coils that I had gotten from uh, looting on it because I, I wanted something that had high damage if I needed it. Uh, and this is it. Uh, along with the epic shotgun. Epic shotgun's a bit slow for damaging enemies, but I mean, it's still not bad. The, the pulse rifle is essentially like a T... Well, the T2 pulse rifle is like essentially a T4 assault rifle. Uh, just under a different name. I also made the minigun, uh, because who doesn't like a minigun every once in a while, you know? It's a minigun. I mean, what can go wrong with a minigun? Nothing can go wrong. I don't think, anyway. Uh, but yeah, that... that... I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed about the holdo signal and logic blocks, I, I... Like, we have a motion uh, sensor here, and a light barrier. Motion sensor actually makes more sense to me than anything. So, like, from here, uh, we'll, uh, we'll name this thing, uh, motion. 
And let's see, do I have like an extra light or something? Uh, I do. I have this, and then I will have maybe that. And I'll go ahead and set this up to be like green or something. With a low range or so it has minimal impact. And I named this, right? I did. And let's see, interactive setup. Okay. Okay, so uh, the enlarge and shrink bits. You know, it, it says numpad on this one. Didn't the other one actually say numpad 5? Like, this actually said numpad 5, right? Yeah, yeah, it did. Okay, so apparently this is only for straight shots? Question mark? I don't know. I'll have to do a little messing with that. Uh, but yeah, that beaming we hear is because we're inside the range. Uh, if we actually give it a name. Motion. Sure. Terrible name, maybe, but it works. And then we do have this set up to not work on the motion? Motion. Okay. Took it. Thank. Okay, motion. Follow. Yeah, see? Beep beep. Hmm. Uh, what if I... Let's see. What if we did something... Like we, can, we can't go back with it, I can't imagine. Like, if we did something like this, and then hooked this up on motion to not follow but toggle and not be inverted. So we, uh, we, we get back to base, lights off, we enter, light turns on. We exit the motion detection range, and then we, as we go to leave, the light turns back up. Yeah, sure, why not? And then the light's just kind of there as, uh, well, our testing light. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, can I actually find a different spot for this? Honestly, probably it would be, uh, like, honestly, uh, maybe up there. Oh no, can this actually, uh, go through? Go through walls? Okay, so that's on motion. And we'll, uh, go ahead and set it back on motion, or we apparently don't need to. Alrighty. So we'll take a look at this interactive display of that. Alright, so like we don't need it. All that far that way, and in fact, I think here might be good enough. Uh, but yeah, we could actually. Okay, the controls for modifying the size of this thing is a bit weird. Uh, I, I, I don't know. It doesn't feel right to me. 
Yeah, the problem with that is I can go do that. Uh, nope. Wrong side. I need that side. Yeah, then it would be active within that. Uh, let's see. Alrighty, I think I'm fine with that. Uh, I'm not fine with this light toggling. Uh, let's follow, shall we? So if I'm in the range, it's on. If I'm outside the range, it's off. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Also, does that light still turn on and off? It does. So yeah, there's just gonna be one way for me to be able to minimize some of the lights being activated when uh, I'm not around. Uh, like the ones in here, I can actually set up a motion detector. Oh, I guess there, perhaps. And then go to this uh, motion inside. Devices, interactive setup. Let's go ahead and make this as small as possible. Let me have an idea of which button does what. And then I need one that way, two that way. Uh, one more this way, one more that way I guess, maybe, and then one that way. So that covers this entire room. Yeah. Follow me on that. Alright, let's get out of the uh, menu there. Now, if we have uh, these instead of being on the lights, uh, we do motion inside and follow. Uh, motion inside and follow. We get out of here. The lights turn off. FPS will be happy. I can have the lights off. Now, this place will be darker for it. Oh, that's where the third corner is. I saw I had three corner lights, I didn't know where the third one was. Yeah, it'll be darker for it. And uh, we can set up the light switch for some of these uh, outside lights to be on and off, like that one, that one, and the other two in that corner. I think it's fine. I think it'll actually work out quite nicely. Alright. I like these blocks a little bit more. Uh, still not sure what the hell the light uh, bayer does, but we'll, we'll, I, I, I'm sure I'll find out eventually. Uh, but yeah, that'll have to be it for this episode, though. We, we, we messed around with a bit of uh, the, the signal logic, though. Nothing too complex yet. Uh, maybe we'll do something a bit more complex on the uh, capital vessel whenever we go uh, get around to building that. But uh, yeah, that'll be it for now. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Imperion Galactic Survival. Until next time, uh, as always, take it easy.